This video and probably the next three to five videos are going to be about creating C-sharp console applications. And you actually can create C-sharp console applications directly from the IDE we've been using to create window applications. But the way I prefer to do it is using something called the DOS box or the command prompt. And I think one of the reasons I prefer doing it that way is this technology has actually been around for at least 35 years. I've been using it for at least 35 years. And the uh, Apple II when it came out in 77 looked exactly like the DOS box we're going to bring up in the 2012 Windows. And you can see the technology is still underlying the new GUI based technology. GUI being graphic user interface which is like the windows and the mouse and so on. So the first question is how do we evoke the DOS box? If you're starting from scratch we want to go down to the start button click on that and then go to all programs and find a folder marked uh, accessories. Click on that and you'll see a uh, command prompt. Command prompt and DOS box are more or less synonymous. They used to use DOS box all the time, now they use command prompt. So if we click on this, you see a uh, DOS box or command prompt comes up. And the trouble with this is it's practically unreadable. It's too small. So the first thing we want to do is improve the appearance of it. So click on the little icon in the center or at the top left corner and click on properties. And we want to go to the font tab. And then I usually switch it to Lucinda console font family and about a 24 uh, font size. And you click OK and you see you get a much bigger more readable DOS box. And there's something else we want to do while we're improving the DOS box. Click on this once again and click on properties once again and go over and click quick edit mode. And I'm not really going to talk about why quick edit mode is so important now but trust me when we get into developing a console application quick edit mode in the DOS box is going to be indispensable. So the next thing we want to discuss is uh, invoking Notepad++ from the DOS box because we want to use Notepad++ to actually create and edit the uh, C Sharp console application programs we're going to develop. And we need two pieces of information before we can even hope to do this. First we have to find out what the actual name of the .exe file for Notepad++ is and we need to find out what the location of this exe file is. In order to do this we need to find the icon we've been clicking on to uh, bring up the Notepad++ editor. So I put almost all my icons in a single icon on the desktop so I can have these nice pictures uncluttered. So if I double click on that icon we'll go down to the Notepad++ icon and click on this once so it's selected and then right click and then go down to properties and on the properties you'll see the target of the icon and it's probably too big to see so I'm, I'm going to right click on that and do a copy and then bring up a regular notepad see where do I have that right here and in the regular notepad paste the uh, what we just cut and what we just copied off the properties page so the next thing we have to do after we found out the location and the actual name of the exe for notepad plus plus is put it on something called the path and this concept also goes back at least 35 years To locate the path, click on the Start button 
and then click on control panel and then click on the system icon and we want to look at advanced system settings in the system icon and you'll notice in the advanced tab there's a number of buttons and the one we're interested in is environment variables so click on that and you'll see a list of environment variables and the one that's important to us is called the path so select the path and click edit now we want to go to the notepad file where we save the information we got from the properties of the notepad plus plus icon and select the uh, directory that this is in and right click and select copy and go back to our edit system variables get on the variable value text box and hit home to go to the beginning of this I like to put uh, the path at the highest point this looks at each path separated by a semicolon and if it finds something on the that path it'll do that first so you can override paths by putting them ahead so we want to right click and select paste and then put a semicolon to separate it from the next guy on the path which is c colon slash etc which I also put on here the same way I'll click OK and OK again and a final OK <laughs> and then close uh, the various windows we opened up now go to the DOS box that we previously edited and type in notepad plus plus and lo and behold it comes up if we tried this previously it wouldn't have come up probably I should have showed you that but take my word for it so now we can uh, get to notepad plus plus from the DOS box but we actually don't want to type in this whole thing every time or I don't so I created a file called etc that I put on the path you probably saw previously and if we type in ET it'll take us directly to etc and for instance I had a, a number of bat files on here if you type deer you'll get a directory listing you'll see most of what I have in uh, etc are dot bat files which stand for batch which are actually collections of DOS box commands that you can execute sequentially by just saying the name of the dot bat file and one I have for invoking notepad uh, regular notepad uh, in a short manner is called n so I just have to type n in order to invoke the command to invoke notepad so if I say type which is a basic uh, command prompt command n dot bat well, see these are the commands I use the at echo off just says don't display all the commands in this list on the screen so you'll just see what you want to happen but you won't see the commands being executed and then I have notepad the long name of, of notepad and a percent one which is a parameter to be passed to the notepad program and that's pretty much exactly what we want to do with notepad plus plus if you don't pass a parameter it'll just bring it up without selecting a file but if you do pass a parameter it'll start editing that file so if I do copy another uh, DOS box command that goes back to Unix I mean we're really talking like 50 years ago uh, n dot bat to npp.bat 
and then if we do N, which is the abbreviation for notepad, npp.bat, we'll bring this up in notepad, and instead of notepad, we want to make this notepad++, plus plus. and then do a file save. And since the etc is on the path we showed previously how to do, like if I go to the root by typing r, another bat file, and now if I type npp instead of notepad++, notepad++ once again comes up. Well, that covers everything we wanted to cover for this tutorial. We'll get into actually writing c -sharp console applications in the next tutorial. I hope you enjoyed this and learned a lot, and don't forget to subscribe.